welcome to another video. As you can tell from the title, today I'm bringing you my May TBR. But it is a May TBR mixed with a readathon TBR. So in May, from May 1st to May 20th, the Sailor Moonathon is happening and that sounded pretty cool to me, so I decided I was going to join in on that. So the Sailor Moonathon is created by Bookish Pisces over on Twitter. I will leave the link to her Twitter and the Sailor Moonathon Twitter down below so you can go and check it out if you are not familiar with it already. Essentially, I've got a um, thing up with all of the reading prompts. So there is a reading prompt based on each Sailor Scout. Um, and people participating are separated into groups for each of their Sailor Scouts. I am on Team Sailor Saturn, but that doesn't mean you have to just do those prompts. Um, you can still do all of the prompts, but there is a particular team book for each team, and if you read your team book within the readathon, it counts for like double the pages. And it's one of those readathons where you like submit your page count to see which team wins. So I'm on Team Sailor Saturn, um, and the team book for that is The Bone Witch, which I've got right here. The Bone Witch by Rin Chipeco. Chipeco? I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm really sorry. So that is my pick, um, or the group pick, but I have worked that into the TBR prompts. So although the readathon only lasts from the 1st to the 20th of May, I am gonna do this TBR as my whole May TBR because it still leaves me with 10 books and I have just done a readathon so I don't want to like push it and do too much too soon so I'm gonna leave myself whatever I don't accomplish in the readathon for the rest of May, if that makes sense. So I'll just take you through what I'm reading for each prompt for the Sailor Moonathon, and essentially if I don't read it by the 20th, I will just continue it with the rest of my May TBR. Okay, so let's get started. The first prompt is Sailor Moon, and that one is to reread a favourite book. So for my reread, I'm going to go for This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Victoria Schwab is one of my all-time favourites. This book cover totally messes with the white balance. <laughs> Enjoy that. Schwab is one of my favourites. I read this book such a long time ago. Maurice really wants to get out. One sec. Uh, so Maurice just wanted to come out, so we're just going to deal with this because he was really scrapping at the glass, so I'm just gonna hold him whilst we're doing this. You alright, bud? Good, good. So yeah, I'm gonna reread This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. She's one of my absolute favourite authors, and I have not yet read Our Dark Duet, and I really want to, but because it's been so long since I read this, I feel I need to reread it. So having a prompt to do a reread is a perfect opportunity to get this done, because otherwise I put off rereading books because there are so many new books for me to discover, but this is the perfect opportunity for me to reread one of my faves books. The second one is Sailor Mercury, and the prompt for that is to read a book that challenges you. Now for this one, I'm going to read a book that I previously DNF'd, which is why it's a challenge to me. And that is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I read this shortly after, or started reading this, shortly after I read Illuminae, um, and it just felt very much recycled, like it was the same thing again. So I DNF'd it because I didn't see the point in repeating what I've just read. But now it's been a while, I've moved on from Illuminae, I've not forgotten it, but like it's been long enough for me to potentially go into this not feeling like it's the same thing again. So I'm gonna give this one another go and try and read this this month as well. This little dude is a proper distraction. You're right. What are you doing? Ah, I see. This isn't how I saw this going. <laughs> The third prompt is Sailor Venus, read a book with a character that has special abilities. For this prompt, I'm gonna be trying to read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I'm actually gonna be buddy reading this for, with Becca from Becca and the Books. I will link her down below as well. She had been meaning to reread this series so that she can continue on with the Six of Crows duology, etc. Um, and I own all of the books in this series and have not read a single one of them. So we're gonna buddy read it and hopefully get through this one this month, and then one each month 
for the rest of them and see what I think of these. As far as I'm aware, our main character in here discovers she has abilities, so we'll see what I think of this one, but I don't know too much about it other than the main character discovers that she's got some sort of abilities, and I think there's a love triangle. I'm not expecting high things from this, I know a lot of people have some pretty poor opinions of it, but I feel like it's going to be worth it for the later books that people have pretty high opinions of, so we'll see where I stand on Shadow and Bone, but there's that one. The next prompt is Tuxedo Mask, and that is to read a romance novel. Now I don't read romance, so I'm bending this one to how I want to perceive it, and I'm just taking it as a book with a romance. And for that I'm going with The Wicked King by Holly Black. I need to read it, and now that the Queen of Nothing release date has been brought forward to November rather than January, it seems like a decent opportunity to read it so that I don't have to wait quite as long for the next one. So yeah, I'm perceiving that to be able to fit that prompt. I'm having it, okay? <laughs> next up we have Sailor Mars and that prompt is to read a book that includes the element of fire in any way. For this prompt I am going to try to read Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. Don't ask me what this is about because I have absolutely no idea, but Ash Princess fire on the cover. In fact, that's a hole and then there's just lots of fire under there. So I know there's fire involved in some way, but otherwise I have no idea what this book is about. I'm going to be going into it completely blind, but I'm kind of looking forward to that. So we'll take that and I shall hopefully read this for the Sailor Mars prompt. The next prompt is Sailor Jupiter, read a book of 400 pages or more. And for this I've gone for The Beast, that is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I actually started this a couple of months ago and didn't finish it, got distracted by other things and just kind of fell away from it. And I think it's time that I get back to it, get back into it, start again, go in, finish it this time and knock off this duology. I really liked Strange the Dreamer so there's no reason why I shouldn't like this, and it is a big beautiful beast. The next one is for Sailor Saturn and the prompt there is to read a standalone. Correct me if I'm wrong with this, but I think Fire and Heist is a standalone and I needed some small books to counteract some of the bigger ones that I'm going for, so I picked this up. From what I'm aware of, there are like half dragon people in this that are like top notch of society, almost like the Kardashians of this world, and something happens to the main character where her like family falls from from fame or something, but they're also like half dragon people. So it seems like a very bizarre mix. I'm not really sure what to expect from this one, but I'm willing to give it a go, so that's what I'm going for there. If this is not a standalone, let me know, but as far as I'm aware it is, so if I'm wrong please correct me. The next one is Sailor Uranus, and the prompt for that is to read a book with a beautiful cover, and that is how I'm gonna hopefully get Bone Witch into this, because this cover is gorgeous. I bought this book completely based on the cover, it was a complete cover buy for me, so yeah, I'm reading it for the beautiful cover. I don't know too much about what this is about other than potentially a bone witch. I think the main character might accidentally raise someone from the dead, but I'm not sure what happens otherwise. So uh, I'm going into this one pretty blind, but I think it might be a bit like grim. I'm interested to see how this goes. I'm very much looking forward to it. The next one is Sailor Pluto and the prompt for that one is to read a dystopian and I could only think of one dystopian on my shelf that I hadn't yet read and that is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. I say dystopian, it's kind of utopian but it really depends how you look at it. They're in a world where death has kind of been eradicated, you can't die of old age, you can't die of sickness, you can't really die of accidents because you can just be brought back to life. The only way to die is to be cleaned by a scythe. And then there are two apprentice scythes, etc, etc. Everyone's raved about this, everyone knows what this is about at this point, uh, but I haven't yet read it and I own both this and Thunderhead, so I really need to make progress and read some of the books that I own the sequels to. 
<laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try and knock this one off as well. And then the last one is Chibi USA and that is to read a novella and for that I'm gonna try and read In an Absent Dream by Shauna Maguire. Tiny little novella, this is the fourth book in the Wayward Children series. Uh, I think this one follows Lundy and the world of like logic and reason. Um, I've owned this since it came out, I had it pre-ordered and I haven't yet had the opportunity to get to it so I would really like to get to it and for like a readathon small books like this are perfect so yeah I'm all down for that. But yeah they're my picks so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 books to read hopefully in May, we'll see how I do with that. If you are participating in the Sailor Moonathon, let me know what team you're on. As I said, I'm on team Sailor Saturn, but yeah, that's that. If you've read any of these books and want to chat to me about them in a spoiler-free manner, then do so down below. If you think there are any here that I should absolutely prioritise and get to first thing, then let me know that down below as well. But yeah, otherwise, if you've enjoyed, give us a thumbs up, chat to me about whatever you fancy down below, and I will see you next time. Bye!